celebrated today by surprising a local elementary school with a donation of hundreds of books. 23 ABC's chief meteorologist Elena Rusk has been the chair of our If You Give a Child a Book campaign for five years now, and she joins us with a recap on today's annual book giveaway. Here at 23 ABC, we read for a living, and many of us are bookworms who also read at home for fun. But we understand that books are a privilege, and it's not something that every child in our community has access to. So back in the fall, I made a passionate plea with our 23 ABC employees. Donate just a little bit of your paycheck, and I'll turn it into something magical. My heart is full. My heart is full. I can't, I can't, I can't, I don't even have the words to express that. This is what happens if you give a child a book. Women that read the book, they have to be powerful to save people. I, I gotta say, this is a thing come true for our kids. It's, uh, we're being virtual for a while, so most of their work has been virtual assignments, virtual reading, and they're gonna be able to put their hands on a brand new book, which is, you know, there's nothing like opening a brand new book and getting that smell of a brand new book. Despite the passionate dedication by the educators at Longfellow Elementary here in Central Bakersfield, the students only have a 28% reading proficiency by the third grade. This one um, it does have a little bit lower than, than, the, than the current county average, but we could have chosen pretty much 90% of the schools in BCSD and probably 80% of the schools in Kern County. So we wanted to put books right into their hands. It's a partnership of 23ABC, the Kern Literacy Council, the Scripps Howard Foundation, and our partners at Scholastic, who all together work to bring these 400 books to this school so that these children can see themselves in the Star Wars characters, an ethnically diverse book. I think any student needs to see their, their self as a lead character, and, and they need to understand and learn that, that anyone can be a leader and do good as a leader. The rest of the money we raised will provide funding to our friends at the Kern Literacy Council to assist their programs for the rest of the year and buy even more books. Now they've got this fresh new book and they've got the weekend, so they're not having to go Zoom again. So, and maybe they can read it and then tell their teacher, that, you know. So I think it's really, oh, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> Now, the next step to reading success comes from you as parents. By reading to your children for just 15 minutes a day, you can change their entire future. But we understand right now it is just so hard to find that 15 minutes, right? So let us help you out. Our friends at Scholastic sent us this book and the author, Peter Reynolds, gave us permission to broadcast a reading of his story, Say Something. It's a wonderful story about being bold and having your brave voice heard. So Mike Hart, Jessica Harrington and I all sat down to do a reading together and that is available for free on our 23 ABC Facebook page for you to show your kids tonight. Thanks for celebrating National Reading Day with us in Central Bakersfield. I'm Elena Rusk connecting you. It is a very good book. Please go check that out.